Hello, um, I just want to come on and say what's going on in my life right now. Um, I was married to my children, to my twin father for four years this past September. And our marriage just dissolved. I don't know what happened. I know back in January 2021, I caught him cheating and he tried to deny it, deny it, even though the girl said that he did do it. Eventually, he confessed to it and everything and we trying to work it out i just couldn't work through the cheating i let it go and then we would the house um buying process he wasn't into it and i'm like and he knew that we was trying to buy a house from back um um beginning of 2000 and i'm sorry the middle of 2020 the summer and then we, we started preparing on my credit and everything to get my house together to get my credit together to buy a house so that happened real fast. And because I once what I do is once I get it together, I get it together. I said, I'm going to do something. I said, I'm going to do it. And I've always been like that my whole life. If I want something, I go for it. But with him, he's a procrastinator and I'm not I don't like procrastination. Just do it. That's all I say is just do it. And then he got a perk addiction and I couldn't deal with the perk addiction. I'm like, OK, baby. Let's try to work through this. And he said, it's not an addiction. It's just a, what you call it, a, um, um, it's, it's periodically, sporadically. I said, sporadically is not every other day. I mean, sporadic is every other day, not every day. And he was like, no, I don't do it every day. I said, okay, so where's the money going to? He will work, we'll pay, he'll give me money to pay the bills, and then the rest of the check will be gone. Don't ask no question. Don't find out what happened to her or anything. It'll just be gone. And then um, I said, and I was the only one taking care of the children. For the last two years, I bought all the diapers or everything. I came out of my paychecks. Everything came out of my paychecks. And he didn't buy anything. And uh, we have our own businesses. I have a bakery. And he has a, a, a put-together business where he does everything. He puts stuff together. And these are legit businesses. We got a business license and everything. I helped him get a small PPP loan. Um, I didn't help him get a small PPP loan. I told him about the small PPP loan, and I and I was doing others to help them because a lot of people, a lot of people I knew, got their own businesses. So I would show them how to go ahead and do it, and he did it, and then told me he wasn't he wasn't approved for it. I'm like, what? Show me that you wasn't approved. Show me the email, everything that you wasn't approved. Come to find out, he was approved for it, and we got arguing about that. I'm like, why are you hiding money? What are you doing that you got to hide money? Something's on my eyelash. I'm sorry. Hold on. So what are you doing that you're hiding money? And then, um, I was like, and then, um, I was like, um, you know, because it is, um, he, he took him a long time to get his stimulus package, his stimulus check. So they held back three of them and they, they finally gave it to him. And then they sent his taxes out. So all together within two months, he had like $10,000. He gave me eight hundred dollars for the we had to pay to purchase the insurance on this manufactured home because that's what we bought. The insurance on the manufactured home had to be paid up front, and he gave me two thousand dollars to go towards other things for the house. He took the rest of the money, like eight thousand dollars, and blew it within two months. I don't know what he did with it. He didn't have any other bills. He had a car payment, and then I bought another car. I have I had a two thousand seventeen Kia Sportage, and I bought myself a BMW. And um, I, he said, I said, I won't trade this car in. He said, yeah, I'll make the car payments. Of course, he only went, he only paid one car payment. Other car payments that I paid because he was like, um, I don't, I didn't make enough money to pay the car payment this week. I got to take all my check and pay the car payments. To me, it wasn't right that he would actually do this to me. I said, what are you doing? You make enough, just put a hundred dollars. The car payment was only $400 a month. Just put enough, and then the car insurance for a couple is two hundred. Just put enough one fifty a week out of each pay, pay paycheck, but we still got other bills. I know we got other bills, and I'm paying them. So 
and everything. I was paying car insurance, car payments, the rent at the other house, the other apartment that we had, the rent, um, all the bills. And he was basically giving his money to the perk dealers. And I'm like, this got to stop. Um, I'm, I don't have a habit, he was saying. I said, okay, either that or you still seeing that same girl and you're giving this girl money. Like that, he said, I'm not giving nobody any money. I said, that's what it seemed like to me. You're giving this just chick money. And um, then um, um, in June, we moved into, we went to settlement at the end of May. We moved in here June 3rd. And I took up money to pay the movers and everything. And he stole money out of my pocketbook. I'm like, why would you steal money? He, back, I'm going to back it up. He was stealing money from my children. I started a piggy bank. Every time I would bring a 10 or a 20, I would drop the ones inside the piggy bank. He started stealing money out of there. I wasn't doing that. I was like, whoa, whoa. That is, we run out of diapers or anything. We're never going to run out of diapers. You keep buying them every two weeks. I have to. We have a set of twins. They go through a box of diapers every two weeks. <laughs> and um, then back to the money. He stole money out of my wallet. Then he broke the door of my BMW. And that's $800 to get fixed. I still haven't got that fixed yet. So I have to roll the window down on the passenger side to, um, to um, let them in. But to let people in if they want to get on the driver's side. I mean the passenger side. And then in June, um, well, that was June. But then um, uh, we got arguing again and he left. Then he came back. He was telling people I didn't appreciate him, that he put stuff together and I didn't say thank you. I'm saying, you're my husband. You live here. That's what you're supposed to do. And then um, my daughter came to stay with me because, of course, she had a girlfriend. Her girlfriend passed away. And she wanted, um, she didn't want to be at her house by herself with her daughter. I mean, with um, thinking about her, her, her girlfriend. The birth, her birthday was coming up. So I said, come stay with me for a couple of weeks to get yourself together. I didn't want her to hurt herself, stand, stand alone, thinking about her girlfriend. So she came here. My daughter's on drugs real bad, too. I didn't know that they were actually getting money up and everything, borrowing money from me, borrowing money from my other um, my other kids, borrowing money, and doing doing little odds and ends that he was doing when he would go to his grandmother's house or any other body's house and take it and buy, buy perks for him and her and not bringing the money in the house. He would pay, make like $50, $60 a day because he, he said, you know what he told me? I don't want to go back to work. I said, let's, okay, let's really get this off the ground then. Because this was a side hustle. Even though we did legit businesses and everything, he's going to people's homes. Let's really do it. Let's really do it. Let's go to the IRS, get your, um, get your tax ID and everything. And we did all of that. He still didn't want to work like that. And I was in an auto accident. I went back to work part-time. I'm sitting there. I work from home sitting at my desk, and he would be in bed up until the time for me to clock off for work. Then he would take and get in the car and leave. And I didn't. I was like, what are you doing? He would be gone four or five hours out of the day. No, no, I didn't ask any questions. I'm thinking he's out there working. And he was. But he was also going and get um, drugs for my daughter and him to do. And I didn't know this. And then, um, then, I was like, you know what? I just can't do it no more. And my son had a wedding and he asked my daughter to be in. He asked all three of my daughters to be in the wedding. And my other two daughters, they bought their dresses and everything and everybody prepared for the wedding. I bought my kids stuff because they were ring bearer and um, they were ring bearers in the wedding. And my granddaughter was a flower girl. So I bought her dress. Excuse me. And I was like, um, everybody's getting ready for the wedding a week or two before the wedding. And then my son called me and said, the day my, my son called me and said, my daughter was going to ask me for money. I was like, no, she just got her child tax credit. You know, the, the money that the government gave us to, to purchase her, her outfit. And, um, and I called her. I said, why would you ask me for money when you just got that money two days ago? Now, this was in September. You just got it two days ago. Why you can't give me money? Nah, 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 nah. And I was like, um, I'm not giving you any money. It's not going to happen. So she cursed me out from the phone. And I called my husband. I said, don't go, go pick her up. She cursed me out. And guess what he did? Went to go pick her up. 
So I said, you have no loyalty to me. You might as well go live with her. And then we got arguing and he tore my whole house up. I'm going to put pictures on to the end of this video to let you see how he tore down everything in my house and everything. I put a PFIL on, which is a protection order. I got custody of my kids. I got child support coming while I'm going to court for child support. Then he get upset with me and he takes my car. Driving all around and I can't get my car back until they serve him with the PFA. And I'm stressing today. I saw my car. I saw my car last night. On the way to hang out with my sister. I saw my car last night. He did all this crazy stuff. I'm, I'm going to back it up. A week ago, he kicked my other daughter's door in because she's trying to help me get my car back. And I'm going to put pictures of that too. I know I'm not going to put pictures of that because that might, I don't want nobody to see where she, her, her address and everything is on her door. But he kicked her door in. So now he got felony charges out on him. He's crazy. Did he think I'm going to let him back in my life and around my children? And the judge was like, okay, he had to go to rehab and anger management. He is really crazy. And if I had to do it all over again, I would have my babies. But I don't think I would get married. I'm definitely, because I love my babies and they're in my heart. I brought them here. I have to take care of them. I've been taking care of them from the time they came out. And I will continue to take care of them until I, until I leave this earth. No one can love them the way I do. He, he has not reached out to them, said here's anything to go to them because he is on drugs. He doesn't have anything to give to them. But he can have the family say, ask Selena how they're doing. But he won't. He has not uh, He has not done that. But today, I saw my car again today. I was like, wow. Wow. Really? And then, on top of that, it was somebody else dropping my car. So I called the police and they said, nothing we can do about it. Because we're married. And it's a... Um, it's a public, um, no, marital property. And I can't even do anything about it. So I just want, that's a little background of what's going on with my life. So it's just me and my babies now. And my old, one of my other daughters, they live with me with her husband. So it's just us. And I'm a damn sure and make sure that, that they don't skip a beat. Don't skip a beat on anything. So continue to go to a private school that, 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 that they go to, which is one of the best private schools in this county. I'm um, to continue to have them go through that because that's where we promise that the baby's going to be in private school. I don't want them going to public schools. And so that's what it is. It's out there. I'm being transparent about on this channel as can be. There's nothing phony behind me. So ask all the questions you want and I answer. If you know anybody that can help me to get my car back legally, what can I do? Leave it in the comments. Thank you and have a good day. When the police came and see the mess that he did to, to our home, they automatically told me to do an emergency PFA, which was granted to me the next day. He also tried, he also not tried, but he did punch the phone out of my hand. But these are pictures of my children now, and they're happy and they're content. And I try to keep them that way. I will be keeping them that way. I won't be letting all this darkness into their lives. They're happy, almost two-year-olds. 